Hello everyone. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be talking about the A4988 stepper motor driver, which is one of the motor drivers used to drive medium and large sized bipolar stepper motors like the NEMA 17, NEMA 23. These motors are used in 3D printers, CNC machines, a number of robotics, and many other uses. Let's now have a closer look at our A4988 stepper motor driver. So the first pin here is the enable pin, it's the one which enables the working of the motor. And it is low by default therefore the motor is always enabled if you turn it high then it disables the motor driver then these are the next three pins you have ms1 ms2 and ms3 these pins are the micro step selection pins they are the ones which determine the mode of uh, operation or the micro step resolution of the motor depending on whether they are high or low normally they are all low by default giving a full step mode but if you want to change the micro step resolution then you change them according to the mode that you want. I'll be demonstrating some examples of how we can use different step resolution modes later on. Then next we have the reset and slip pins which are also by default low and they are used for resetting and putting the motor in slip mode. Then these last two pins here we have the step pin which is used for controlling the micro steps of the motor by sending pulses to this pin. So whenever you send a high pulse you produce one micro step of the motor. The last pin is the direction pin, determines the direction of rotation of the motor. Then this side, these two pins are the power supply to the internal circuitry of the stepper motor driver. So this is the ground and this is the VCC. Here we supply between 3 to 5.5 volts. Then the next four pins, 1A, 1B, 2B and 2A. These ones are used for connecting the coils of a bipolar stepper motor. The first coil will go to 1A and 1B, then the second coil will go to 2A and 2B. Then these are the last two pins here, uh, the external power supply to the motor driver. And this is the ground, and this is the VCC. So these two terminals take on between 8 and 35 volts. Then this is the major chip for controlling the stepper motor driver. This is the A4988 motor driver. We have these two resistors here, which is R5 and R4. These are the current sensing resistors. Their values changes depending on the manufacture of the motor driver that you're having. For example, in this case, my sense resistors are 0 0.1 ohms, but yours can be different depending on the manufacturer. Then lastly, this is the potential that I used for adjusting the reference voltage. So normally before using this stepper motor driver, we need to set its uh, current limit in order to prevent the current flowing through the motor to exceed its rated current. So when the current exceeds the rated current, the driver will overheat and then this can damage the motor and even the driver itself. So normally to get the current limit, we have to, to measure the voltage reference that corresponds to the maximum current that will flow through the motor. So that is the use of this potentiometer here, is for adjusting that voltage or the reference voltage as I'm going to be showing you shortly. Okay, now let me go into the details of how to find the, the reference voltage of this stepper motor driver. So this is the setup you're going to use to find our reference voltage. The reference voltage is measured by simply turning this potentiometer on the stepper motor driver. And the connection is such that the power supply to the stepper motor driver is the same power supply as the Arduino board. And then you also connect the step and reset pins of the driver. And then we are going to be using a multimeter to measure the reference voltage. So what we do, the multimeter negative terminal is just going to be connected to the ground of our Arduino. And the positive terminal is the one that is going to be connected to this screwdriver. The screwdriver is connected to the positive lead of the multimeter using an alligator lead. Before we measure the reference voltage, we need to know the formula for finding the reference voltage. So the reference voltage is simply the product of the rated current of the motor times 8 times the current sensing resistor. So first you need to first get the rated current of that motor from its data sheet. Then you also need to find the value of the, the current sensing resistors from the motor driver. I've already shown you that. For my case, the current sensing resistor is 0 0.1 ohms. And normally what we do are to find the rated current of the motor. For example, in my case, the rated current is 1.7. But we normally don't use that rated current. You have to use a lower value. So get that value and subtract at least 10% or 20% of that value. For example, if mine is 1.7, I'll we'll be using 1.53. After subtracting at least 10% from the initial rated current of the motor. So to find my voltage reference, I'll we'll be using 1.53 times 8 times 0 0.1 and I will get a value of 1.224 ohms. So that is the one I'm going to be measuring here. So let's measure our reference voltage here and we see. 
So I get my negative blade of the multimeter and I connect it to the ground of my Arduino. Then I'll get this other screwdriver which is connected to the positive blades and then I'll, it's the one I'm going to be using to turn the potentiometer of the motor driver. Then when I'm turning I'll be reading the value of the voltage on my multimeter. So let's turn on the multimeter here, put it in the measure voltage. Then let's turn our multimeter here and we see which values we get. So as you see, when you turn anticlockwise, the value goes on decreasing. When you turn clockwise, the value goes on increasing. So depending on the values of the rated current and the current sensing resistance on your motor driver, that's the value you get and you calculate. For example, now N is 1.224, so it's the one I'm going to be looking for here. So mine is around there. So from there, you can be able to use it in Arduino in your projects. So let's proceed. This is how we are going to set up the A4988 stepper motor driver to work with Arduino and the bipolar stepper motor like here. So what we do, we simply connect the direction and step pins of our stepper motor driver to the to pin 2 and 3 of our Arduino board. Then um, these pins to be 2A, 1A and 1B are going to be connected to the stepper motor coils. We are going to use these four wires here to connect these pins to the stepper motor coils. Then we should have an external power supply to our stepper motor driver from 8 volts to 35 volts. In my case, I'm using 12 volts, and we're going to attach it a 100 microfarad capacitor to the power supply here. The power supply to the internal circuitry of the driver is going to be connected to our Arduino power supply here. So let me take, take a look at the code we're going to be using to run this stepper motor using Arduino. This is the code we're going to be using to run our stepper motor with the A4988 stepper motor driver and also with Arduino. So it's rather a simple sketch where we just simply define the direction pin which is going to be connected to Arduino pin 2 then the step pin is going to be on Arduino pin 3 then we shall define the steps per revolution as 800 this one will determine the number of revolutions of our stepper motor depending on the micro step resolution that we have set then in the setup section we shall simply declare the step pin and direction pins as outputs then the loop is where I determine the rotation of the motor so first of all we turn the direction pin high to give the direction of rotation of the motor. Then we shall use the for loop to determine the number of steps that are going to be used to rotate the motor. So the step pin is given a pulse by first giving it a high signal and then a low signal to give it a pulse. Each pulse is one step. The for loop will repeat the number of steps, this step, the number of times in the steps per revolution. For example, in this case, this is going to be repeated 800 times. Then we do the same step but in a different direction. So to change the direction of rotation, we simply change the status of the direction P. If it was higher now we change it low, it means the motor is going to be rotating in a different direction. So let's upload it to our Arduino board and then we see how it's going to be working. We have now finished uploading the code to the Arduino. Let's now see how the code is going to control the rotation of our stepper motor here. So let's turn on the Arduino board and see. So as you can see here, the motor is going to be rotating four times clockwise and then four times anticlockwise, depending on the code that was uploaded into Arduino. And yet it is rotating four times because we used 800 steps in one direction and 800 steps in the opposite direction. And you know that in full step mode, one revolution is 200 steps. So 800 steps would be four revolutions, as you can see here. We are going to try to change the micro step resolution and see how the rotation is now going to be. Let's try different micro step resolution. So what I've done here, I'm going to connect the MS2, which is the middle micro step selection pin. I'm going to give it a positive signal by connecting to the positive power supply of my Arduino board here. So now here it was initially low, now it's going to become high. Meaning that now that's going to be a quarter step mode. So let's turn on the pin and we see how it's going to be rotating now. So you see, because we had set 800 steps in our code, and this is the a quarter step mode. So 800 steps, that means it only give you one revolution, as you can see here. Let me try another step mode. Now I've made the first micro step selection pin high. Meaning now that is half step mode, and half step mode, each revolution is 400 steps. So let's turn on Arduino board using the same code and see now how the water is going to turn. So you see now, that is a half step mode. So now the motor is turning twice because each revolution is 400 steps. Since we are using 800 steps, that will be two revolutions. That is a half step mode. You can also try it out using other event step modes and 
also change the code a bit to see how it works so hope you've learned something today don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also watch my other tutorials thanks for watching